Ford 3.5 liter and 3.7 liter V6. Want to discuss a common issue that causes lean codes, PO171 and 174. Just a quick thing here, if you have those codes, go under the hood. You may have a fabric panel covering right here, but just peek on the side of your air hose here, air intake. Look at this fitting right here. It's broken. This happens when people check the air filter, pull this up out of the way without disconnecting this first. It breaks right off. That was the part number for a Ford Flex 2013 model. In order to replace that, you just get this out of here, this little broken piece. You release the hose right here and uh, pull that out. One more hose and two clamps and it comes out. Now, if that doesn't fix your issue, the next likely cause could be your canister purge valve right here. To test that with the engine running, you can disconnect this right here. Pull this line off, squeeze the tangs on both sides and it'll come out. And put your finger on there, see if it's sucking air or not. With the valve disconnected, it should not be sucking any air. It shouldn't be pulling any vacuum on the, on the nipple here. If you feel it pulling vacuum right here with this disconnected and the engine running, that means this valve is leaking and needs to be replaced. Now if that's not your issue, I'll give you a few parts to throw at it and see if that fixes it. Mass airflow sensor, try that. Throw a purge valve on it anyway, they're cheap and they're problem prone. If you have a PO171, replace your upper O2 sensor on this side. If you have a PO174, replace the upper O2 sensor on this side. If you have both codes, then it's probably not both O2 sensors at the same time. Before you replace anything, you may also consider checking to see if you had ran E85 ethanol by accident. If your car is not a flex fuel, that may be causing your codes. Okay, that pretty much covers everything. If you'd like to check for intake gasket leaks or anything like that, run the engine, spray some brake cleaner around here. Be careful, don't spray it on the exhaust. You can also get an evaporative system smoke detecting detection machine. Disconnect this and fill with with smoke and, and or vapor into the intake manifold. You may see smoke escaping from a leaking a leak source. It's normal for it for the uh, vapor to come out of here because that's where the air inlet comes in. But if you see vapor coming around the intake manifold, then you may need gaskets for here for this. All right, that's everything. I hope this helps. Have a great day. Good luck to you.